بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم من الله Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has warned us in the Qur'an to be cautious of taking others as gods. And all throughout the Qur'an, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has called us to tawheed, to the worship of him and him alone, and to stay away from shirk, which is associating the partner with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Regardless of whether that's the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa or whether it's the Prophet Jesus alayhi salatu wa salam, or the Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam, or Musa alayhi salatu wa salam, or the angels, or uh, our sheikhs and saints and pious people, whoever. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has warned us that shirk is absolutely impermissible. And that is, goes against the foundation of the religion of Islam. And in this regard, we have to be very cautious about also speaking without knowledge and making fatawa and making fatawa if you're not rightfully able to do so meaning being from the scholars the major scholars or the mufti of your 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 country or what have you this these people would memorize the book of Allah memorize the authentic sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, have memorized the sharia you know they have went through the books they studied with ulama they have the right to to make education between parties when they have disputes. These people, they, they, they are the people of position and rank who are able to make uh, fatawa and judgment and rulings in Islam. And, re, and regarding this, regarding to this, they also must conform to the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet that even their rulings must be in conformity with the Qur'an and the Sunnah. They can't rule other than if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders us, the, the women to cover and to wear jilbab, then a person cannot say, no, it's okay now to wear pants. The hijab is your hair. Or all these other false statements that some of the people uh, come up with. Nor is it permissible for the person, when Allah says that he makes war on the person who takes interest. For a person to come along and say, well, it's the 21st century now. How are we going to buy a house in America? How are we going to buy a house in Canada? How are we going to buy a house in Britain? We need Reba. We need interest. And it's not interest. We'll just change the name. It's called uh, benefit on your money. Absolutely not. The one who tells you that this is permissible, they fall under the eye where Allah Tabarak wa ta'ala says, in Kitab al-Kareem, اتخذوا أحبارهم ورخبارهم عبادا من دون الله والمسيح ابن مرم وما أمروا إلا ليعبدوا إله واحد لا إله إلا هو سبحانه عما يشركون الله سبحانه وتعالى says in the Quran that they take their scholars and their priests or their, their priests or rabbis as lords other than Allah and Jesus, the son of Mary, and that they were not commanded except to worship uh, Allah one or one God. There is no God worthy of worship except Him and far removed, subhanahu, far removed is He from what they ascribe to Him. Meaning those people who ascribe shirk to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah is free from that. It doesn't matter what they say. They, if they say Allah was an angel, if they say Allah is a jinn, they say Allah uh, is the, uh, that Jesus alayhi salatu is the son of Allah. All that doesn't hurt Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he's far removed from their statements. Allah doesn't accept shirk. And getting back to the case at point, is that the person who... Uh, believes in these people, these so-called, because we have this in our community as well, these so-called sheikhs and so-called muftis. You find them on the internet. You find them off the internet. But anyone who tells you that the unlawful practices are lawful, then you can fall into that ayat because you'll be taking them as lords. Because Allah said it was haram, 
but you said it was halal, or you followed them in, in their making it halal. This is called istihlal, istihlal in, in Islam, meaning that the person has an aqidah, a creed, that the haram is halal and the halal is haram. For example, the person who drinks alcohol, if he denies, he says, no, this is not impermissible, and he knows the rule. Meaning he's not new to Islam and he's never heard of that drinking is prohibited. We're not talking about this individual. We're talking about the people who know. That they know that it's, it's in the Quran and they know it's in the Sunnah and that there's a punishment for it. But yet they go and say, no, 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 it's lawful for me. Or it's lawful in this time. Then this person has made the, uh, the unlawful thing lawful. And to follow a person in, in, in this, then you could fall into being the people who fall under those who take their lords and the, uh, take their, uh, their priests and their scholars as lords. That's what we want to be aware of. Aware of. And so, that is a stern warning for, for us as well, for those people that if they have no knowledge, don't speak about Islam. Tell your story about Islam, that's fine. But if you haven't studied with scholars, you haven't read any books about Islam, you don't have any Islamic background or training. You haven't sat at the feet of the Warath al Anbiya, which is the scholars that the Prophet Sallallahu head in authentic hadith, that the scholars and ulama Warath al Anbiya, that the scholars are the inheritors of the Prophet. The inheritors of the Prophet. So this is imperative that we realize it's a stern warning from our Lord to beware of shirk. And that we can fall into shirk, a thought, being by being uh, uh, obedient to the creation over the right of the Creator. We can fall into that. That's a type of shirk. So we have to be cautious, and we have to fear Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. And I ask Allah to Taala, by all of it, by all of His names and, and divine names and attributes, to grant us understanding of the religion and protect us from evil and protect us from speaking without knowledge. And anything I said that was correct was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan was from Allah wa sallam